Well, hey there, signs of the water tribes. Happy Aries season now. How's that going to affect us? Well, we're going to check that out in your horoscopal forecast for the week of March 22nd. If you're new to horoscopals or short, quick, fast, furious, and straight to the point, and then we focus only on the main influential energies impacting your signs over the coming week. Every Wednesday, I select the most viewed horoscopal forecast so those three signs can get an extended forecast. Uh, I'll be posting them on Thursdays through the weekend and sometimes, spirit willing, we will uh, get a sneak peek into the coming week. So make sure you're sharing and tagging with friends. And on Fridays, I post uh, the horoscopal weekend forecast for all other elemental signs. So on that note, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, in that order. Uh, Timestamps are below. So let's kick it off with Pisces. Well, hey there, Pisces. We have left our season and have entered Aries, (laughs) which means things are really going to start moving as we move into this new Uh, like astrological cycle things are definitely on the move for Pisces look at we're kicking off with happiness I I feel like there's gonna be a lot of little surprises and gifts coming uh, coming your way Pisces as we start off the week and things that are uplifting and 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 motivating and encouraging the procrastination's out because now you're gonna be feeling like yeah I want to get this done I want to get out there I want to do things yes yes go with that we've got the star energy coming in really strong making Pisces stand out like a mofo let me tell you recognition appreciation attention people wanting to get your attention and there's some warnings there because the more you stand out the more your glow gets out there the more people that are noticing you it also brings the other people that are noticing you and we're going to get into that in just a minute okay so with the happiness um energy coming in we have page of cups so definitely messages coming in um i loving messages supportive messages i feel like you're i don't know i just feel like the like-minded people the people that get you are really going to be in force over the next few days especially get gearing up they're like go 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 it's like the universe is sending the support in to get to keep you to keep that momentum going and we're going to see that through the whole week we have the king of cups energy really feeling like i got this feeling a little bit more calm um not so emotionally ah you know a little lighter on the lunar <laughs> lunar uh energy uh so we're able to see clearly um but i feel like there's more of an energy of really feeling loving and giving but remember you first okay pisces we all got to remember that trust me okay ten of pentacles by the end of the weekend i feel very strongly you're going to be like this is it this is what i want to start to get going long term this is this is it this is what i want whether it's love but i feel more or less financially and materially the long term okay now gotta do this quick we have the cats okay and we also have the snake all right now it's not so much betrayal but i feel like there's gonna be a lot of temptation so make sure pisces we have the high priestess very strong energy to support us in making these good decisions who stays who goes okay because we you know the stronger we glow up the more we attract attention sometimes people just like oh no you didn't you know just because you're doing the work and glowing up and stepping forward and they're not yeah we have uh queen of pentacles energy remember these are not gender they are energy so we're looking at maybe an earth sign um virgo taurus or capricorn but don't worry you got this you just stand strong you stand keep your boundaries it's going to be a test for some about boundaries you know and listening to other people's opinions about and going against your intuition stand strong you've got this this is your kingdom i feel like a lot of pisces are really going to stand in power and you're going to see that reflected back now with the snake keep things close to your chest don't be so open especially with people from the past that may have hurt you okay five of cups with the ten of swords in reverse coming in um uh you know it might be someone that you left or had left you but you're like you know what nope i'm closing my i'm keeping this closed i'm keeping my china cabinet closed you're not coming in be very careful trust your gut instinct nothing trumps that take every reading with a grain of salt take what resonates but in matters of the heart though i feel this nine of pentacles coming in feeling very attractive very secure in who you are and 
I do feel though, and I will say this was like a side message that came in that for single Pisces, finally messages are going to be coming in that you've been waiting on, whether you've been single for a while or, you know, just like for a little while, <laughs> the messages are definitely coming in. And I think you're going to be surprised. You won't see it coming, Pisces. Have a great week. All right, Cancer. <clears throat> <clears throat> interesting Pisces got this too happiness you're leading off the week feeling good <clears throat> because I feel like you're going to be receiving something based on a decision you finally made with this two of swords okay in the past energy there was a decision maybe you were just like afraid to make but you knew you had to make it you already knew which way you were going finally you did it and now you've been waiting for the results of that that's going to hit you beginning first part of the week and for those of you who've been feeling like pff, in love pff, and career pff, and everybody can go, you know, F off, you know, <laughs> we have the four cups in reverse assisting you, lifting you up and going, you know what? I'm good and feeling good, feeling enthusiastic, feeling again, right? You know, feeling happy, feeling gratitude. I feel like the happiness energy is really going to propel you forward. However, about midweek Thursday is what I'm feeling. We got the blender coming in. <laughs> Universe stirring things up. So your job, you have the Hierophant energy coming in to support you there, Cancer. Get in gear. Stay. You have to stay focused, clear, and I, I feel like towing the line. Just uh, keep going on, you know, as straight as you can, even though that tornado might, you know, knock you over. Just get back up and keep, get back up and keep plowing forward there, Cancer. Um, the Hierophant energy is what I'm feeling uh, that um, to keep you steady because there's going to be stuff coming out of the blue. Okay, stuff you were not expecting and it's coming. Whether it's, I, I don't feel it's bad for all cancers. Okay, so don't be like, oh, it's not like, I don't want to say a tower, but sometimes things have to get shaken up uh, to get us to wake up and go, wait, that's not what I want. Or wait a minute, you know, uh, help us get leveled or help us get on path right um so we have the secret coming in so there's a lot this when things start getting a little chaotic and confusing you're going what the f is going on tap into your beautiful intuition there we have the moon reveals are happening things you will not absolutely not see coming is gonna it could be small it could be large um for some of you it's because and we have this cleanup crew coming in with the three of wands here uh she's like you know your ships are coming in so here comes the blender to get you to the ship <laughs> <laughs> to, you need to get to the ship to get your goods, right? So it's like, oh, my ships are coming in, yay. You still have to create action for some. Remember, take a resonates, uh, pitch out the rest. So the blender's coming in to get you moving. Uh, you want it, you need to grab it. Like grab that brass ring with both hands there, Cancer. Okay, for some of you too, the blender may have to do with someone from the past. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Could possibly be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone who maybe was, there was betrayal, lies, deceit behind the back. But guess what? This was in reverse. So something's about to be righted in your favor with this. Uh, for some, it might be somebody coming back in. But it's up to you. Trust your instincts. I feel like some of you might be dealing with a, or might, brand new, Knight of Swords coming in, the bad boy of the bunch. Looks like Fonzie from Happy Days, huh? Uh, something very tempting coming in. But remember, if you start sipping that Knight of Swords energy, that night, uh, I call it the nightmare card, the insomnia and the fears and your brain's just chugging over it, step back, okay? Um, and also, because you don't need to to feel not worthy or self-conscious or your self-esteem. You're rocking it, Cancer, this week. That's why these things are happening. You're attracting that in to give you what you really, really are truly worth. You are worthy. So watch that Nine of Swords energy, okay? Watch out for that, especially if new people are coming in. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But the big, big message here, besides following that beautiful intuition to the letter, is this Four of Pentacles. Don't give it all away. You need to, do you, don't, like if you're talking to someone new, don't just spill everything out at once. They're saying to be very careful of the information you are giving to others. I don't care who they are. So give a little, but you don't have to give out the whole kit and caboodle. All right, Cancer, have a great week.
Well, hey there, Scorpio. Let's get to it. Very interesting week coming ahead for you. We have the infinity jumping right off the bat. Talks about perspective. Um, <clears throat> things may not have seemed as great, or maybe you weren't in the right space for some. Remember, take resonates, pitch out the rest. But <clears throat> second chances are coming around again. Okay, whether this is in career and finance or in love or relationships, friendships, um, an opportunity is going to come back around. It's one that you have rejected previously, okay? For some of you, just kind of let something go. Um, it's coming back around. For you to look at, again, spirit's being very insistent. I don't know who this is for, um, but this is a true, honest offer, okay? Could possibly be connected to an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, not necessarily. Um, <clears throat> once you give that a net, this second opportunity it's coming back around the second chance once you give give it a chance you need to open your perspective you cannot base anything that's happening now from stuff that happened in the past uh that was a message for i don't know who but as soon as you take that second chance everything's going to open up for you the tower in reverse it's like it's a, all the all the yucky stuff all the restarts all the rebuilds all the sudden that ah, is you're done the infinity also has to do with cycles finishing up. This is it. This is why these things are coming back if they haven't started already, which is today, Sunday, March 21st. Um, but be prepared to get busy. Money coming in, feeling nice and secure, but feeling very hectic and balanced. You got this, Scorpio, okay? Just remember, take care of you first. You've got all the stuff. Be very really 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 follow that beautiful intuition of yours don't take on more than what you can handle make sure you pr prioritize at the beginning of the week okay we have the snake card coming in okay you're looking good there scorpion now for some of you this isn't a new opportunity this isn't a second chance it, you could appears to feel like oh they you know we broke up like years ago and they come back around isn't that a second chance that i think uh the second chance really pertains to something that happened recently that you were offered. It could have been a, hey, why don't you come work for me? Or, hey, you want to collab? Hey, we got this thing going on. Or, you know, hey, I'd really like to get together with you and talk, you know, and you went, no, I'm done. No, I'm good. I'm good over here. Okay, so what I was feeling is that this is someone of betrayal in the love area. Okay, coming back around, all right, um, or coming in, or it's starting now. Okay, there's a lot of energy that's coming in. I'm trying to focus on the main one. So anybody who's kind of been feeling betrayed or feeling something's up, well, we have the moon card highlighting everything. Boom. Follow that beautiful intuition. There are things that were hidden that are going to come to light this week. Um, we have, it could be a possibly connected to a nurse sign. That's been popping up a lot in all the water readings so far uh, for this coming week. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be somebody who present themselves as one thing, but underneath, probably, they were probably more, it could have been a water sign, but there's the Eight of Cups, finally making the decision to move forward. And the moon, I just feel like you'll be able to rest better for some of you. It's like, oh, there's gonna be this huge relief, though it's gonna be bittersweet. Uh, but this is something you definitely need to look at very carefully, Scorpio, to make that decision. If you really want, you know, someone stable and, um, loyal and faithful and on the same page with you then uh, there's some things that need to go and spirit's gonna be highlighting that for you this week we have the sun card though coming out i feel very strongly this is going to hit about late wednesday night early thursday morning page of cups loving uh just a loving supportive messages supportive uh communication coming in it's actually going to flip around if things might start off a little bit yeah for some scorpios at the beginning of the week but i'm going to tell you towards the end look going into the weekend it's looking fantastic you have the four of wands again you sitting there with your mock teeny in your hammock but i also feel like this is also 11 11 card so there may be uh some good maybe that one of those second chances maybe you're giving somebody that chance and you're realizing hey they could be a match uh celebrations if you get invited to any weddings or any parties or barbecues I hit that this weekend scorpio it's really going to bust you up bust you up <laughs> bust out the bust the clouds away you have the star card also you're shining strong you're looking good people are noticing uh recognition uh, uh, uh attention 
go with it, Scorpio. Shine that light and have a fantastic week.